As we looked at in a previous video blog, 64% of our general fund goes to public safety, to police and fire. So clearly they need to be part of the solution as well. And one thing I think to realize and that the public needs to realize is the voters of Santa Rosa passed an ordinance, um, passed a ballot measure which requires binding arbitration with our police and fire bargaining units. And what that means in the way that ballot measure was written, it means that we need to pay at levels comparable with other agencies of our similar agencies, similar police departments and similar fire departments. So the city has less of an ability to make unilateral changes or changes during the negotiation process than they would otherwise. So that's another constraint on the city's ability to really impact that salary and benefits area which is so large. So that leaves us with, of course, the last option, which is reducing services and reducing service levels. We have done that. We've done that in the past. We've recently gone to council and done that. And I'm positive we'll be doing that as we move forward. Examples of those reductions that council has already made include significant reductions to park maintenance, elimination of our vi victim advocacy program, elimination of our emergency preparedness coordinator, uh, reductions in all areas of, uh, of all the departments in the city. In addition, a proposal has gone forward to reduce uh, police officers by a certain level and close a fire station, one fire station a day, every day of the year, in order to meet um, certain budget reduction targets. They put a dent, but they don't go even a majority of the way to solving the city's budget problem at this point in time. So they're going to be very difficult discussions that council's going to have that we will all be engaging the community in to decide how do we solve these problems. Those are our options for addressing these problems. Um, we've created a number of different ways for you as the public to get involved um, and, and how to really collaboratively solve some of these issues. Um, one, we've created a budget deficit advisory group, which has the city manager and myself. It has two city council members, two labor union representatives, and four community members representing different areas of the community. That group is looking at ways to balance some of these revenue and expenditure ideas and issues and options as they move forward through the process. That group's been working for close to a year and they are making sure that we put forward things that meet the needs of the public and meet the needs of the council and as well that we're able to live within the constraints, the financial constraints that the organization has. The City Council also has a budget subcommittee that meets where the public can show up and provide feedback as well as to City Council meetings. In, a diff in addition, we have on our website a input form so the public can provide input on the budget process Whatever is put there is printed out and provided to the City Council before budget hearings so they see all of that information. Again, our website is srcity.org if you'd like to see other video blogs or presentations that we're making to the City Council. And lastly, I'd like to say that we're going to do some additional video blogs that are frequently asked questions as they arise. So also, if you have a question you'd like answered, Feel free to email it to us or put it into that form on the website and we'll do, do that in a future blog. Thank you.